So 124 light years, no one really knows what that means. That's uh, 700 trillion miles. No one really knows what that is. It's just a long, long way away. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to look back at the beginning of time. But what if it found something looking back? NASA scientists have issued a stark warning after the telescope detected an object that seems to defy all known laws of physics. It behaves as if it's from a mirror universe where time runs backward. In this video, we'll reveal what this jaw-dropping object is, why it has top scientists genuinely concerned, and how it could be the first concrete evidence of a parallel cosmos. Let's start with the hard numbers, the raw data that truly blew minds. Last April, Webb stared at a blank patch of sky for 22 grueling hours. The infrared spectrum came back carrying a single emission line at 1.87 micrometers. And here's the kicker. No match for any known atom, ion, or molecule in our universe. Redshift math says the source sits a staggering 13.2 billion light years away, but the amplitude is 20 times brighter than a galaxy that early has any right to be. NASA's first check, instrument glitch. Second check, cosmic ray strike. Third check, still there, unwavering. That's when the serious warning flag went up the chain. If the flex is real, this object pumps out 3 times 10 to the 45 ergs per second, more energy than 10,000 Milky Ways combined. Nothing in Lambda CDM physics can build that much mass that fast. So the team tabled a working nickname, Object X. Because honestly, what else do you call something that breaks all the rules? Now let's really stretch our imaginations. Imagine a universe where entropy flips, eggs unscramble, black holes spit out stars, and the Big Bang is a big crunch. In 1967, Soviet theorist Sakharov wrote that such a sector would still satisfy Einstein's equations if every particle carried opposite CPT charge. Fast forward when Webb's incredibly precise spectrometers fed Object X into the standard model, the chi-squared fit landed at a dismal 0 0.03. Statistical speak for, no way this stuff is ours. But here's the kicker. Flip the CPT sign and the fit jumps to an astonishing 0.91, practically a bullseye. Translation, the photons we see might be subtly leaking through a junction between two sectors of space-time. If so, we're catching reflected light from a cosmos running in reverse. Parallel universe talk sounds like fun sci-fi until you remember the terrifying concept of vacuum decay. If two sectors with different vacuum states touch, the lower energy side can nucleate a bubble that expands at light speed, fundamentally rewriting physics as it goes. Object X sits right in the epoch of reionization. Any signal that unbelievably bright could pump enough ultraviolet into the intergalactic medium to shift the vacuum stability curve. The chilling translation? A cosmic phase swap that would outrun any warning. That's precisely why the internal memo signed by the principal science team carries the chilling phrase, observational moratorium. Roughly, don't point more mirrors there until we model collapse rates. The memo leaked on Reddit, NASA predictably refused to confirm, but the scheduling logs show every approved program mysteriously skips a 0.2 square degree box around the coordinates. So what do you think? Draw your own conclusions. Object X is undoubtedly the most extreme, but here's the thing. It isn't lonely, not by a long shot. University of Missouri astronomers, sifting through Webb's early release images, pulled out 300 galaxy candidates that are at least four times brighter than LCDM predicts for redshifts Z greater than 10. 
stellar population fits demand star formation rates of 100 solar masses per year, sustained for 200 million years, impossible without massive seed black holes born at 100,000 solar masses. Either feedback physics is profoundly wrong, or the early universe had a massive head start we didn't encode. Either way, the standard timeline is looking pretty broken. So could there be a simpler explanation for all these cosmic overachievers? Some have floated the idea of dark stars, hypothetical objects powered by WIMP annihilation instead of fusion. A 1,000 solar mass dark star shines with 10 million solar luminosities, eerily exactly what Webb sees from some of these. Trouble is, dark star spectra should show a broad plateau from 0.6 to 2 micrometers. Object X, however, shows that razor-sharp line, just one, decisively ruling out the dark star fix for it. That throws us back to the mirror universe hypothesis, because CPT reversed hydrogen would emit precisely that lone 1.87 micrometer line when viewed from our side of the junction. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? So this begs the ultimate, mind-blowing question. Could we ever actually visit this other sector? Short answer? You already have, every time an anti-neutrino zips harmlessly through your coffee. CPT partners exchange virtual particles constantly. Most are too faint to notice. What Webb might have found is a macroscopic tonal where the exchange becomes coherent. The math gets incredibly hairy here, but junction stability scales with mass. Park about a Jupiter mass of ordinary matter on the fringe and space-time could pin the gateway open. We lack the engineering, but a Kardashev II civilization could feed a small star into the rim, making a permanent door. Whether that's brilliant or utterly terrifying depends on which vacuum state is lower. Talk about a cosmic gamble. Ask an astrophysicist in private and you get a weary shrug, maybe a wry smile. Webb is the fire hose, theory is the straw. Officially, everyone cites tension with models. Off-camera, two distinct camps form. The conservative wing bets on hidden population three starbursts. The radical wing wants vacuum decay fail-safes. One Caltech theorist joked, If Object X is a mirage, I'll eat my laptop. If it's real, I'll eat my grad students, because they'll be out of a job. Gallo's humor aside, grant proposals on alternate universe physics have absolutely tripled in the past year, so funding panels are definitely paying attention either way. Are you finding this cosmic mystery as mind-blowing as I am? If you're hooked on these jaw-dropping discoveries, then do yourself a favor. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. You absolutely don't want to miss it when NASA inevitably releases the next data dump. When the paper drops, the window between archive and headline is about six hours. Blink and you'll miss it. Comment below, do you think Object X is a new class of object or our first peek into a cosmic mirror? I'm personally replying to the most thoughtful takes. Now, if you're anything like me, you might be thinking, okay, this is wild, can I actually see this for myself? And the answer, my friends, is a resounding yes. All the raw files sit on MAST, the incredible Barbara Mikulski archive. Search program ID 1535, filter on NIR CAM module B, and pull the 2D ramps taken April 12th through 13. Calibrate with the official pipeline, then run a simple median stack. The anomaly sits at RA3H14M15S, DEC minus 27 degrees, 48 minutes, 22 seconds you'll see a faint 24 magnitude smudge. Drop a one arc second aperture and boom, that razor shop 1.87 micrometer line pops a staggering 5.2 sigma above continuum. Congratulations, you've just personally repeated the discovery that launched a thousand sleepless nights in Pasadena. How cool is that? So if this mirror sector, this reverse time universe, truly exists, what does that mean for our universe? The chilling implication is that vacuum decay could theoretically already be propagating.
Light speed means no warning flash. One instant Andromeda glitters, the next every proton in your body fundamentally rearranges. Comfort factor? Decay probability per unit volume is 10 to the 45 per cubic gigaparsec per year. Odds of 1 in 10 to the 100, you'll personally witness it. Still, Object X provides the first tantalizing evidence that these cosmic junctions can occur, nudging those odds from never to possible. For cosmology, that's like learning your house has termites. Maybe nothing happens, maybe everything does. It's an unsettling thought, isn't it? So what happens next in this unfolding cosmic drama? Webb's Cycle 3 proposal list shows a rather intriguing, somewhat covert program titled Constraints on Exotic Continua. Translation, more deep exposures, more intense scrutiny around that blank square. Meanwhile, CERN is fast-tracking an experiment to search for CPT-reversed collisions in the LCHB data. If either finds corroboration, if the pieces start to truly fit together, expect a joint NASA-CERN press conference by late 2026.